be just a real disappointment. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Um, we have a whole new setup here because we're going to talk about some uh, the anime coming up this season in the world of anime. Um, so the winter 2021 anime season is upon us, and we thought we'd walk through them and talk um, very briefly about some of the upcoming anime because um, that's, let's be honest, kind of fun. Um, that's what and we do. It's what we do, <laughs> exactly. And so we've each picked... Uh, up to three anime that we really want to watch. Obviously, there's others that we we're interested in. We have our top three, up to our top three. Oh, because um, I have 20 that I want to watch. Oh, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Only so much we can do. Yeah. Um, and then um, um, I know I've picked uh, one anime that I have no idea what it is, but I'm intrigued. So. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see what yours is, because okay. I hope it's the same as mine. <laughs> it might be. It might be. Um, but yeah, so um, let's just start going through it. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to list the title, I'm going to talk a bit about the description, um, and uh, if anyone has any comments, we'll talk about it, otherwise we will just move on because there's too much to talk about in this season. Um, hey, quick question, quick question. Yes. Are you going to put this in the uh, second season, third season continuing mm. box of shows and then brand new IP? So I will be I will include um, second season, third seasons in this list. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna I'm gonna skip over anything that's like obviously for kindergartners. Obviously that's right. you know um, right. lots of round cartoon cat kind of things. Um, nothing against them. Just I I don't oh, think the folks here are. Dorymon gets the cold shoulder. Pretty much. Pretty much. Um, and Steve's favorite crayon Shinchan gets the dust. <laughs> Denied. If there was a Doraemon reboot or a Crayon Shinchan reboot, it would absolutely be in this list. <laughs> um, all right, so this is uh, LiveChart.me's list of TV anime only. Uh, we make it to movies and OVAs if we have time. Um, sorted by popularity. I don't know how they calculate that because there's a separate listing for most number of ratings, which I also don't know how you would rate something you haven't seen yet, but whatever. Um, so we're just going to go through this by popularity. Um, first one, obviously, Attack on Titan final season. Um, it is, spoilers, uh, is going to be happening in this season. Yeah. Um, they're going to finish that out. Um, I'm sure folks who are into Attack, Attack on Titan are all ready for that. Um, ReZero second season part two. So help me understand this one, because why is there a part two of the second season? Why is there just because... the third season? Because that is a popular thing I've noticed on some other mm. series. So that instead of having uh, episode 1 through 12 or 1 through 26, mm -hmm. it literally is like episode 1 through wherever. It's like it doesn't show Oh, wow. End. Okay. And they so they get through the part 1, which is mm -hmm. I think part 1 was like 13 or 14 on Ray Zero. Mm -hmm. And then now it's like technically episode... 15, 16, 17, 18. So, you know what I mean? So they've... I don't understand yeah. the functionality of it other than to make it an oddity that you look at and go, part two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and to extend it, I guess. Yeah. Um, okay, fair enough. Um, the time we got reincarnated is a slime two, part one, which, again, same thing. Um, the second half will premiere in July. Um, so just pushing that off. Um, synopsis is more plot from reincarnated as a slime. Yeah. It's already broadcasting, by the way. Okay, gotcha, yeah. All right, J yeah. January 12th. Wait, wait, that's a bit weird. Huh. Um, yeah, I already saw it. Weird. <laughs> um, oh, so this is another thing. It should be pointed out. There are some shows this I'm season sorry, sorry. that are airing in America first. Yeah. So that is another it's good point. Really weird. Yeah, really yeah. weird. <laughs> because Crunchyroll. Um, and soon Funimation. Um, so Dr. Stone, Stone Wars! Didn't make my top three, but I was like, everyone's turned to stone. What? <laughs> so, huh? Yeah. I haven't gotten to it because I haven't seen people like slavering at the jowls, mm -hmm. being like, oh my God, it's the best thing ever. I, <laughs> I saw the first few episodes, and it's interesting. It's just, unfortunately, from what folks have, have, have said, it is, it became f deeply shonen in kind of silly uh... ways. Um, yeah, whereas it, it it was set up as this kind of post-apocalyptic kind of how do we rebuild society they just got kind of kind of goofy over the top uh, right. not a bad thing just different from what folks expected mm. um, 
Uh, and so um, this is going to be an upcoming war in the world of Dr. Stone amongst these survivors. Uh, Promise Neverland season two. So um, this is this, the story of a group of children living in a, um, uh, I was going to say a foster house, but an orphanage where turns out things aren't what they seem. Um, <clears throat> and a bad things going to happen to these children sooner or later. So they are trying to find a way to escape. Um, well, I mean, in the end, ultimately, it's just a story about a bunch of farm kids who really are kind of really free range. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, more of that. Coming. And nobody has any idea what that means. <laughs> hey, it's not a spoiler. <laughs> yeah. Um, Quintessential Quintuplets Season 2. Um, Watching it. Yep. More of, you know. School time with five cute red-headed girls. Harem. Stupid harem. Stupid, stupid harem. <laughs> Absolutely. More of that coming. Um, I think, boy, I think that is a pretty perfect description of this show. Comedy, harem, romance, school of shonen. Yep. Um, right there, that's what you get. Um, Log Horizon, Destruction of the Round Table. Log Horizon coming back. Thank you. Um, it's been a year since the, the thing. They trapped them all in the game. Um... And uh, but there are now genius monsters who may destabilize all they've fought for and built. Um, exactly. So but it's, more it's been a lot of years since Long Horizon. It's true. You know. Yeah. It's been a long time in the coming to get this this one thrown in here. So mm -hmm. please make it good. <laughs> yeah. Um, we'll see. Um, Mushiko Tensei Jobless Reincarnation, the first one here, not a second season, whatever. Yeah. Um, Isekai series, um, man is reincarnated into a new world as an infant. Um, uh, however, uh, he is fully aware of what's going on and trying to maneuver to get the best possible advantages in life. Um, kind of looking out for number one type of thing. And I have actually read this manga, um, oh. as it happens, or at least the first volume of it. Um, I thought this sounded familiar. I yeah. I thought you mentioned this one before. Um, there's a couple actually on this list that I was like, did Brian say anything? <laughs> um, I will say there's some slight creep factor. Um, he is very excited about the fact that his first tutor is a lowly. Oh. And yeah. finds any opportunity he can to sneak in to watch her changing. Um, and he's like, eight. So it's just kind of uncomfortable, um, you know. Um, but I think it's just—I mean—it's treated very lightheartedly. Right. Um, and what's going to be interesting is that he's clearly trying to be a like—he's trying to um, get as far as he can, but he's also trying not to be a jerk the entire time. Right. So it's going to be interesting to see how how they thread that needle of him being um, um, not turning into the villain, so to speak. Who knows? Well, did you ever see Knights and Magic? No. Um, you know, adult guy born into, he dies in, in our mm, world, born yeah. into another world where there's magic, these giant magical robots with, like, magical uh, muscling, stuff, kind of weird stuff. Mm. And he's a total, like, basically Gundam gunpla guy. Okay. So he goes in and sees these magical robots is like, I could do that better. Oh. I can design this better. I can do better features on it. Cool. And he becomes a magical engineer, but it's like the same kind of thing where it's like, he's born into the world and he has to grow up enough to get to a point where they uh, like touch these things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. you know, they shortcut his wee tiny little person itch until he's like basically 12. Okay, yeah. And then he gets into it. So it's like, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, that I saw, I'm like, think I might be into that. Yeah, that similar cool. premise. Um, yeah, I got to the first volume and I was like, I am sufficiently unsure where they're going with his character to feel entirely comfortable moving forward. Um, I'd have to, like, find out where they're going with it. Um, right. So hopefully the anime can, can kind of go there. Um, suppose a kid from the last dungeon, Boonies moved to a starter town. Um, <laughs> basically, um, kid off in the middle of nowhere leaves his village and discovers that he's actually much more powerful than uh, other people in the in the uh, the city, um, and is able to um, presumably um, find his fortune there. So not in the sky. Apparently, just a straight fantasy series. Yeah, um, looks fun. 
I'll uh, watch it. Yeah, there we go. Um, Horror Mia. I swear I've heard about this. Um, it's a remake. Well, it's not a remake. Okay. There's a six-episode OVA. Okay, that's what I'm thinking of. That has a really cool art style. Mm. And this one, it looks like every other show. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, mm. oh, okay, I gotcha. Mm. But, eh, okay, it's fine. Mm-hmm. They obviously uh, had the had the interest and the budget to do it, so yep. kudos to them. And it's, from what I've read, it's one of those classic, you know, um, I present a different side of me at school. You present yeah. a different side of you at school. Uh, um, yeah, nobody can find out about this because it'll blow my entire rep. Yep, yeah, exactly. yeah, I get this. Mm-hmm. Uh, Seven Deadly Sins, Dragon's Judgment, a franchise that just will not give up. Um, it's it's hard should, to watch but... because it just won't give up. Mm. <laughs> it just keeps going in different <laughs> permutations. Tenchi. Granted, the final arc begins. Tenchi, no. It's not as, not as good as Tenchi. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so th- they are billing this as the final arc of Seven Deadly Sins. Sure, Who knows? It's, it's just like... Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Evangelion, uh, the last of Evangelion. Right, oh. yeah. <laughs> no, it isn't. Naruto's over. Um, no. Yeah. Um, moving on to Sama Spider, so what? <laughs> I want to see this. Yes, I want to see All right, so this is on both of your lists. This is, okay. this is yeah. what I want to see. Okay. I, I, okay, so here I watched the trailer, right? And, oh, I didn't see a trailer. And and the trailer is just so damn frenetic. It's just all over the place. And it's and it's you know the girl it, it's it's just a guy. The girl's reincarnated as a spider in a dungeon, and it looks like she has other female spider friends. And they have a little band. <laughs> and they have a band. Thing <laughs> to the other monsters. Oh, in that's awesome! The wow. dungeon, so okay. it's like it's like she's singing about, I, I think, she's singing about how she has to somehow make her way and not get killed by the more powerful <laughs> monsters, and how she and her friends kind of do this, and then wow. it breaks into oh song, and and the song, and it's very, the, by the way, it's very, um, was it Netflix's Agar Agaretsko? Agaretsko. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's very much like that, where she as a spider is like lolled out and she's just flailing around on stage with a mic and she's just you can she's even making fun of the fact that she's this guy and she's just, wow. just like all over the place See, and, this know, seems like a total total hoot it's gonna and, be and, and, and you know what it reminds me a little bit of uh, only interesting concept of just fun it's the the sleeping princess oh okay oh, okay yeah. uh, so, gotcha. so you know i think if you like that gotcha. you're, gonna, yeah. you're, you're definitely gonna like this but it is just <laughs> You're not gonna fall asleep because it just moves, 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 mm-hmm. and and quite frankly, if you have epilepsy, you might want to make sure you're up on your bed. Uh, this stuff is just bashing you in the eyeball. It's also yeah. it's also 24 episodes. Um, yeah, uh, they're 24 minutes each, so there's gonna be a, a fair amount to this. Which is they, they've, like, yeah. they've committed. They've mm-hmm. really committed to that. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to see this one. This one mm-hmm. just strikes me as fun. Yeah, that sounds great. Uh, moving on to redo of healers in a dark world of monsters, adventures, and mages. Some of the most gifted healers are subjugated, subjugated to brute force, even by the hands of their compatriots. But one mage gains the ability to rewind time, oh. turning the tables and righting all wrongs. Um, no idea. No idea. It is also listed as an etchy fantasy, so I don't know how that's going to uh, work into it as well. I guess I'm going to have to take the bullet for the team. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll sacrifice my time for this. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll be watching the first episode of these, or I'll, I'll at least be on 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 Zoom next week. So, um, we'll we'll see. Next one sells at work. Two exclamation yes. points. Woo. This is on my list. Um, basically, season two of sells at work. Yep. Um, only eight episodes. Hmm. Um, but we are getting more of the Cells at Work franchise. One of two Cells at Work anime this season. Yeah, I was going to say right below it is Cells at Work Code Black. Mm-hmm. So. Yep. Um, and the reason I'm ranking this higher is because um, I'm just very invested in Red Blood Cell and White Blood Cell. Um, yeah. I just want to see more of them. They're just a great little couple. Oh, what about Platelet Chan? Come on. Well, Platelet Plate- 2. Or Platelet Plate- Plate- Kun, I guess. It's true, this yes. Mm hmm. Although you do see Plate the Chan in the in the key art, so, so presumably yes. we'll see a, a few of the, both Sweet. of those. Sweet. Here's hoping. 
Um, moving on to the hidden dungeon only I can enter. Um, yeah, a place of it. legend. Um, but the main character is the third son of an impoverished noble family who's lost the one job offer he had, but was lucky enough to hear about this dungeon. Um, but he acquires a skill that allows him to create, bestow, and edit skills, uh, with which he needs to accumulate points by carrying out tasks like eating delicious meals and doing certain things with learning members of the opposite sex. <laughs> so, etchy. Definitely etchy. Uh, so I'm going to have to watch this one, too. <laughs> Damn. I know. Um, I just know I, can't, I can't get a break. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we'll see where this comes in, like, like how they thread that needle again. Um, this could be a lot of fun. It could be you know, very ridiculous, um, silly, or it oh, could be... thread that needle. Oh, boy. <laughs> or it could be Peter Grill. Like, who knows? Uh, um, I'm yeah. going to probably guess it's going to be a little more like Peter Grill and Isha's good reviewers. Mm-hmm. Just because, obviously, the popularity of that is a yeah. solid chance. <laughs> Also, like, look at the title. Think of the title for a second. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. there's a... Nudge, there's nudge, a, wink, wink. Yeah. Not as so good as a blind bet. There's, a... yeah. <laughs> there's enough time to there. Uh, then Cells at Work, Code Black, as we mentioned. Yep. Uh, spinoff of Cells at Work. And basically gender swapped. Male, yep. um, red blood cell, female, white blood cell. Um, and so... Um, interesting to do. One of the things they kind of revealed here is that uh, Code Black takes place in a different body. Yeah. Um, so we got two different sort of situations going on. I think, I actually watched a, a, a video where a, a real medical doctor watched the first episode of Cells at Work um, and talked about it and he said, I think this person has like AIDS or something um, because they are susceptible to all sorts of diseases. Oh. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, that's interesting. Wow. And as I've kind of read a bit more, it it seems like there are there has been thought put uh, into what kind of person could actually have all these diseases. I don't know if it's AIDS or not, but you know that that thing does seem to be a thing that they think about. Is it's not just oh random diseases you're having. There's some underlying cause. So mm. be curious to see where they go with uh, Code Black. Hope yeah. it's fun. COVID. It's all COVID. Yeah, it, it could well be. Um, it Beast would be Stars, quite timely for yeah, COVID. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Beastars Season 2. Yes. You're getting a second season of Beastars, which kind of surprises me. I kind of would have expected uh, Studio Orange to move on to a um, uh, you know, something new, um, given how innovative they've been. Um, but here's hoping that will, that will move forward. Don't know how many episodes there are. Presumably 13. But I mean, it's it. B stars was was, it was innovative and it was good and innovative. Oh yeah, so, you know what Absolutely. I mean. It's like that was something that when I saw B stars two coming up, I'm like, yes, thank you, you you somebody out there acknowledged that what that was, what that gem was, and then mm-hmm. just went with it again. I'm like, thank yeah. you, Netflix. We can see money. Oshi and Haru, and we can see everybody getting all what happens in this mm-hmm. world with them. Yep. Um... I'm actually, you know, Netflix, and this is worth pointing out, you know, Netflix is actually kind of stingy with, with season twos. Um, you know, if you don't make it, they do not let you keep going. Yeah. So this is, this is a good sign. Uh, moving on to bottom tier character Tomozaki. Yeah. Um, who is a, um, basically trying to apply video game logic to the real world, from what I'm reading of the description. Um, thanks to a girl that he meets. Sure. Yeah. The world, the world God only knows. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where he takes his Galga skills with, uh, with the, the, the goddess, their souls that got lost in the mm-hmm. human realm, and he's got to apply his dating sim skills to mm-hmm. rescue these souls out of girls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. What does intrigue me is that, at least on the live chart, this is listed as drama and romance in school. Not comedy, you know, so they could take this in interesting directions if they would kind of dig deep into it. Who knows? Um, I'll, watch. I'll, take, I'll take that bullet. Sure, again. sure. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Laid Back Camp Season 2. I watched the first episode last night. Oh, oh yeah? Oh, goodness. Oh, good. Oh, goodness. Oh, good. So- this one's on my list. It's number two on my list. Absolutely. I'm up for this. I love there's no synopsis. Girls Camp. Like that's the it's, that's all that show is. 
Reen and Nadeshko doing their thing. <laughs> right. Oh, this is <laughs> awesome. Um, all right, Kimono Jihen. Um, which sounds like one of the most shonen things ever. Special detective Kohachi Inugami is sent to, det- to investigate a grisly phenomenon involving animal corpses near a remote mountain village. But after meeting a strange boy who agrees to help, he discovers cursed supernatural forces at work. Little by little, Inugami uncovers the truth behind the killings and the boy, who may not even be human, next time on Dragon Ball Z. You know, it, it's just... I don't know. Um, yeah... Um, We've seen this before. Does he get like turned into a little boy or something? Probably. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah. Or he gets a spirit gun. One of the two. Yeah, it's right. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. You, you, next on you, you Hawkeye yeah. show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and again, it's it, it's hard because these shonen series can be a lot of fun, um, or they can just be very generic. So yeah, we'll see where it goes. Uh, World Trigger season two. <laughs> John's to, very much looking forward to this one. I had to drop World Trigger after episode 60 because it wow. just it just kept going and it never went anywhere. Mm. I'm like, get on with the point of the show, please. Stop like taking these asides like Arkland, where it's like everything else is happening except where we're trying to go with the show. So I just I, I just had to drop it. I'm like, I'm done. I, mm. I can't do this anymore. I, I never got into it because that's one of the one of the descriptors that that it was given to me was was uh, a review. I forget, I forget who did the review, but it was just like, please let me out of this room. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I just I can't. I'm just going through the same four corners over and over and over. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't get out. Please let me. Bad out guy. Room. Bad guy shows up. You do something. Now you go into like ten episodes of training montage, <laughs> and then the bad guy does something. Then you do something. Then it's more training. Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Too much. Too much. Um, (laughs) Yeah. Goku. Yeah. (laughs) Beat him up. Yeah. Um, Well, you know, you'll be happy to know that there are at least two more seasons of World Trigger coming because this is season two and season three has already been announced. So yay! But it has fans. It has fans. Uh, Apparently, good for them. It will never end. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because I did not find anything about the characters in particular, their design, their mm. personality setups. <clears throat> Voice acting, see your skills were fine. Mm-hmm. I mean, nothing outstanding, nothing like horrible. Pachinko but then, machines. So, miss, must be. <laughs> I mean, there's got to be something that's driving this popularity for it, because I just, I didn't see it. Mm-hmm. And I gave it more than enough opportunity. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know? I don't know. More than enough. Moving on to Other Side Picnic. This is my, I have no idea what this is, but I'm intrigued. Yeah. Um, Got nothing. Sorawo is saved by the mysterious Toriko in this Other Side world. Um, entranced by its beauty, she discovers that this dimension is inhabited by monsters, once thought imaginary. Um, joining with Toriko in her search for a missing friend, they set out to explore this nightmare realm and ba- maybe make a little money. Um, I've actually seen the trailer for this. It's Girls with Guns. Fighting well, so monsters. Look at the very top piece, the descriptors, and the very yeah. last one. Because yeah. the, co- the cover art I saw for it, it features the little brown-haired girl mm-hmm. and whoever the other main character is. Mm. And they're kind of, like, embraced. And the ah. other main character has, like, a Walther PPK and is, like, holding her. And I'm like, as soon as I saw that key visual, I'm like, yep, that's a show Joe. <laughs> All right. There it is. Um, so, obviously, there are, you know, elements of noir in this. Yeah. Um, you know, that, that whole B-Train thing. I'm actually surprised it's not a B-Train anime. Um, but it feels, you know, it's one of those things where they are throwing so many different things together of having this weird supernatural world that they're all fighting through. But then they also, they're trying to make money. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was kind of curious about that one. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very curious, but I have no idea. Yeah. Um, all right, moving on to X-Arm. Uh, <laughs> I read the description of it. I'm I, like, right. uh, uh, <laughs> I'm like, nope. Uh-huh. It's whatever. It's actually. Oh, it's it. true. Uh, yeah, and that first line right there, truck kun. Really? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Truck kun right there. Um, um, uh, but then we get the, some sci-fi nonsense uh, about X arms, um, and sh- sure stuff happens. Um, 
I wonder if the uh, character designer is uh, hmm. from Tower of God. What? It looks a little bit, a little bit like Durara. I don't know. Um. Anyway, yeah. Again, it seinen. I'm always up for some seinen. Right. Always interested in something that's, that's, that's more adult. Uh, etchy seinen really freaks me out, and it doesn't freak me out, but it's like I, that can go in some disturbing, disturbing, disturbing dark directions. So <laughs> who knows? Um. But yeah, it feels feels very uh, feels very generic. We'll see. Hortensia Saga. Um, fantasy war, basically. Um, Hortensia was relied on its vassal states for protection, but when one of them revolts, it throws the land into chaos. Keeping orders of the country's knights, but a new storm of violence heralds war. Is it too late to avoid a future born of blood? Spoilers, no. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's Vinland Saga, basically, it looks like. Yeah. Um, yeah. Very much that, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, it's cool seeing more fantasy anime. Just straight up right. fantasy anime, not reincarnated, nothing like that. Just, you know, big old war. <laughs> we just want big old war. It's big old war. You know? Big old war. Plot. We just need war. <laughs> I, I just want some skull cleaving. Come yeah, on. pretty much. Get old Claymore out. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, moving on to 243, Saiyan High School Boys Volleyball Team. Because Haikyuu wasn't enough. Yeah. And because we need another excuse for a musical. Come on. Right. Oh, exactly. Yes. Mm-hmm. And a rhythm, rhythm, rhythm gymnastics routine. Right? Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is a World War II drama. No, it's a it's a volleyball. It's a boys volleyball team anime. Um, how, they, how they defeated the invaders yeah. <laughs> with volleyball. Right. Spike. Spike. Um, so uh, yeah. Um, uh, the, the description is hilarious, and by the way, it's like it's a novel on uh, on live chart. I don't know why. Like, there's this whole big backstory where it's like oh. it's a volleyball anime. Come on! Wow, yeah, um, there is a lot of description. It's, it's there. There. Okay, yeah. fine. Um, I think they go into like all the different characters and all their backstories. And uh, who cares? Um, it's it's pretty boy high schoolers playing volleyball. Is, blah, is blah, that, blah, 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 gets hit fun. by truck could. Blah, blah, yep. blah, needs, re- needs to rehab to gain the championship <laughs> at the volleyball. His teammates rally around him, but they have their own circumstances. Blah, 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 had a troubled childhood with his mother who got divorced. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we get you. Move we on gotta to get the yeah. Nationals, guys. Come on. <laughs> but a new problem is on the horizon. Yeah. yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Nationals has been canceled because of COVID. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and we have Skate the Infinity. <laughs> which the, no. We talked about this. Because <laughs> Steve was talking about the mine ride with the skateboard. <laughs> this, f- first off, this should be a video game. Like That, that is a name of a video game. <laughs> more than an anime. Um, um, but, uh, yes. It, it, there's a highly secret and dangerous downhill skateboarding race in an abandoned mine. Um, <laughs> and there are heated battles called Beefs. In the races, um, and uh, yeah, there's a they they race on skateboards, and it goes um, on from here. <laughs> like, yeah, like, like you know where this is going. That said, Studio Bones, it's gonna look gorgeous. Um, yeah, I'm sure the the fluidity of motion is going to be fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, Just... <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> well, this is the thing. Name another skateboarding anime. Um. Yeah. I mean. Eureka, right, is, yeah, is kind of that's surfing. The closest. But yeah. I, it, it's kind of interesting that there's not been a lot of skateboarding anime. Well, there's two ways to look at that. Hey, mm. this is the fresh new way to take it. It's nobody else has done <laughs> skateboarding. Or Sorry. the alternative would be there's a reason nobody else has done skateboarding at all. <laughs> Kevin Mazer says it's initial D with skateboards. Oh god. <laughs> <What>? Wow. <laughs> That's basically yeah. Draft down okay. the <laughs> yeah. Exactly. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Um, so moving on to very much not skate the infinity. Non non biori non stop. Yes. Woo. Yeah. Renge. Yeah. Woo. So. Otaru Renge. Mm-hmm. All the girls. Um, there's a newcomer, Akane Shinoda. Um, interesting to see. Interesting to see. Um, I'm sure there'll be lots of drama. 
There's never any drama in on Peoria. They're going to go to the candy store. They're going to walk around the rice paddy. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. That, yeah. Oh, that and laid back camp together. Yeah. Oh, it'll be like comatose afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Where you just let the let the healing love just wash over to you as you see their their wonderful idyllic lives stretch yep. before you. Oh. There we go. There we go. And then crashed and destroyed as the skateboarders come exactly. in. Exactly. <laughs> then you flip in the skateboard thing. Yeah, whoa! We're going to do it now. You flip into 360 you're off the ramp, dude. Yeah. Hey, don't hit that little tiny rail line that, you know, pulls the mine cars up. <laughs> Watch all that debris. Oh, look out a miner's Watch lamp. Your head. <laughs> but little do they know, trouble is brewing in the ancient magical fantasy world nearby. War is coming. Yeah, war. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom of the mine, they exit into that other world. Exactly, oh. yeah. Oh. Wow. Here's and they're all war. spiders. We, we just <laughs> went from <laughs> sports to... It's a guy. What the hell's going on? And the spiders are all playing volleyball while singing. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe this mashup. We'll be brilliant. Oh, we'll be getting to idol anime. That's oh, a whole yeah, thing. I know. Uh, I know. Um, but before I, know. I get to that, Sorcerer's Stabber Orphan Battle of Kimluck, they're doing yeah. another season of the Orphan remake? Was that good? No! I saw the original one. <laughs> like, no! <laughs> <laughs> not, even a, not even a slight hesitation of, well, in my subjective opinion, it doesn't... No, Brent is full on it. No. I, I'm, I'm joking. It, it, was, it is very 90s. It has all of the 90s tropes. It has... It, it is... It, you know, main character is a twerp he, with no brain... Um, yeah. There are two little kids that run around that I think are technically halflings that he's constantly like beating up because they're trying to steal stuff from him. Um, it's just very, very weird, off the wall '90s fantasy anime. Um, it came out what two years ago? I think that's right. Yeah. 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 Um, I just don't know. And, and again, I, I'm, I, I, I'm surprised because. It seemed to me like that that Orphan remake came out and just disappeared. Like, it aired, but no one was talking about it. So yeah, I'm surprised. I saw it, and I wondered about it, and then yeah. it just was gone. I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. So there's more Orphan for those who are into, into it. Um, it certainly was no Mugen Train. That's no, for damn sure. That is, that is for <laughs> damn sure. Um, moving on to Heaven's Design Team, which also I happen to have seen. Uh, the, the manga of. I saw the first episode yesterday as well. Oh, what do you think? Um, it's like the, the who who made Natsu no Taizai. It's like their characters uh, designers made this. Okay, I have enough of that. Yeah, it's it's. Um, hmm. I'm gonna let it just do its thing because it's okay. not it's not terribly interesting. It's okay. not terribly funny, but it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Okay. <laughs> so, it's solidly okay. Okay. I really enjoyed the manga. So the premise is that God subcontracts out to people to create animals yeah. um, and gives them these incredibly vague uh, ideas and they have to kind of interpret those into what the animals would actually look like. So, you know, the horse was really, really successful. It was, that really, really worked. Yes. It's, it's really, really great. Do the same thing. Make the neck long. What? Why would you make the neck? That makes no sense. And so it's them kind of reverse engineering, you know, how the animals should work. Yeah. Um, so that's the premise. Um, again, the manga's fun. Episode, this episode had the, had them with the snake. Ah, uh, yes. And <laughs> I will give it that for all the sort of, meh, okay, for the rest of it, that was hysterical. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. That one moment was like, oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> and then the rest of it was like, okay. Mm -hmm. yep. That's why I'll keep watching. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, moving on to Back Arrow, which I thought was Black Arrow for a minute, and I got all excited. Yeah, me too. Um, uh, but is uh, <laughs> um, about a, a knight with bell bottoms. Um, <laughs> Lingolin is a land enclosed by the wall, which covers, protects, cultivates, and nurtures the land. The wall is God, the foundation of the land. One day, a mysterious man named Back Arrow appears. He's lost his memory. But he claims that all he knows is he came from outside the wall. He tries to head back beyond the wall to regain his memories, but is pulled into one conflict after another. Um, action fantasy mecha. There's not a lot of fantasy mecha series. So that caught my eye. But are, his, are his pants the mecha? Apparently. <laughs> what I'm seeing here. 
groovy disco backup pants. Hey, you know, mm-hmm. which is also a good name for an anime. Um, disco backup. Pants. Yeah. <laughs> Throw a copyright on that. We might have something. There we go. Um, moving on to Dr. Ramune, mysterious disease specialist. Um, I, I saw the title for this and I just went on because, you know, it, uh, it's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, what, I mean, do we really want this? Is this, is this what we want? Is this, oh, s- special diseases. Great. <laughs> well, hey, we just last season we had uh, Monster Girl Doctor. Mm-hmm. We've True. got cells yeah. at work this season. Yeah. So I, I saw this. I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. I actually enjoyed Monster Girl Doctor. Mm-hmm. Actually, I thought it was a fun show. So mm-hmm. I'm like, I saw this. I'm like, Dr. Ramane. Oh, okay. Well, mm-hmm. give it a wink. Give it a wink. Um, I was going to say, well, the premise makes it sound a little mushishi yeah. um, in basic concept. Although the the cover art does not suggest Mushishi in any way, shape, or form. Nope. Um, so I think it's going to be, you know, uh, light-hearted, episodic, person has problem, we resolve problem, moving on. Right. You know? um, so, like I say, might just be a fun, relaxing pick. Right. I lied. I lied. Um, Other Side Picnic is one of the anime that's on my list. I'm intrigued by it. It was not the, I have no idea what this is, um, because I just realized what is the, I don't know what it is, but I'm intrigued by it. And that is Wonder Egg Priority. Okay. I, Oto, a 14-year-old girl, is guided by a mysterious voice she meets during a late night stroll and obtains an egg. If you want to change the future, for now just make a choice, now believe in yourself, break the egg, what awaits I when she cracks the egg drama? Angel's it, egg? I... Um, I was just gonna say, didn't we just see this? <laughs> you know? What is the one the Easter? And didn't egg? we bang our head against the wall as to what this meant? Mm-hmm. It was a pretty cure. What is the one with the Easter egg company that's trying to to steal back eggs? Pretty uh, Chara, pretty Chara. Oh, uh, Sugo Chara. Sugo yeah. Chara. Sugo yeah. Chara. Mm-hmm. Um, that as I was thinking of like, wow, could you take Sugo Chara and mix it with Angel's <laughs> egg and come out with something in the end? <laughs> that, you could. That wouldn't, that it wouldn't would be make something. Someone's head explode. <laughs> so and, yes, I, I'm, that's interesting. And the the cover looks like Summer Wars. It looks like a Mamoru Hosoda film. So I don't yeah. know where they're going with this. I, I, yep. mm. And I love the the single tagline, drama. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's all we know. Wow. Okay. Mm. Filling us in, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, um, so I'm intrigued. Um, I eagerly await your, uh, your, your opinion on this one. I think this is going to go one of two ways. It's either going to be the most generic, you know, adolescent growing up slice of life drama, or it's going to be really effing weird. Um, so I'm hoping I'm for, for the, the weird. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yes. Um, who knows? The egg symbolizes what it means to go from middle school to high school mm-hmm. and cracking out of your shell and becoming the person that you want. You shut up. That's what it's going to be. <laughs> hey, let's be honest. That's what it's going to be. All right. Um, Scar on the Praetor. Um, action superpower with pretty boys. Yep. Um, government collapses. Citizens left to for themselves. The divine tattoos give each of these characters unique powers. Um, agents of the Scarred rise up to become the uh. of peace. Um... Why is this different than Taboo Tattoo? Why does tattoos? this hurt me? <laughs> I mean, tab- Taboo Tattoo did this whole thing. Mm. Why does this then hurt you acquire me? This hurts these me tattoos. Like the rap one. <laughs> oh, what was it? The, the hypnosis mic. Yeah. yeah, this hurts me. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. We'll see. I don't hey, know. maybe it's a mixture of hypnosis mic with uh, was IW, whatever it is, it, Iwagati West Main Park. Oh, yeah. West Gate Park. Mm-hmm. IWGP. Mm-hmm. It'd be a mix of those two. Could it's be lots of pretty boys uh, doing pretty stuff. Um, I guarantee there is a visual novel, right? Th- th- this must be based on a visual novel. Um, it's a good solid chance. Yep. Or a BL Gaga Galga. Mm-hmm. True. <laughs> um, Azure Lane, slow ahead. Um, no synopsis needed. Let's be honest. Yeah. It's more Azure Lane. Um, Are they chibier than the Azure Lane crew? I mean, these characters certainly look chibier. 
Um, but they could just be, you know, I mean, there's certainly lollies in Azure Lane. who is the chippiest? Right. It's the, exactly. That is the key question. Who is, who is best chippy? Who is best chippy? <laughs> mm-hmm. Never seen Azure Lane. Is it good, bad? Is It like it looked to me like it was like Kung Kole. Yes. It's it's very much Kung So Kole. it's anthropomorphized um, boats. Yeah, it's based well. on a hugely successful Chinese, uh, you know, mobile game. No. Um, and I, there, there's somebody in the Discord who actually plays it. Um, it's, it's fun. Uh, yeah, J- Jay was saying he, yeah, he played it. You know, it's 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 fun. Um, and the Agile anime is very much here is that. You know, here's right. an anime of these characters all interacting and becoming boats and shooting each other. You know, it's, 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 well, I mean, that was I enjoyed Konkol. I thought it was mm-hmm. I thought it was cute. It was a neat little thing. What really got me was you. In the world of, of making things into other things, when you take the <laughs> game and you make it into an anime, mm-hmm. there's actually a portion of Konkole where they're talking to the Admiral, mm-hmm. and it literally is a POV. Wow. So they're talking to you in the anime like exactly like they would be doing mm. in the game. So instead of, like, yeah, and it's like you don't have any response because yeah. we're the POV. So it's like <laughs> I think at one point they ask a question and you literally see the camera go, mm-hmm. "Wow!" <laughs> and it's just like, why did you do this when you couldn't? You could you could not come up with a better way to put this story together. You just basically animated the game. Yeah, so like that's just, that's just lazy. Wow. Yeah. So that I got I was worried about as you're laying being the kind of the same thing. Be like I don't want to go through this again where it's like you. Stick yeah. me in the admiral's seat again and talk to the screen. Like, uh, Azure Lane also has the difficulty of having a huge number of characters because it's a, one of those you know click and go right. video games. So this episode I watched was very unfocused. Episode one. Um, that that could also be part of the. Uh, oh, it's a combination of Japanese and Chinese game. Thank you. Um, that could also be just episode one being like we have to show you all the characters so you'll show up. I don't know. Um, so you can ship your favorite girl. Yeah, sh- and literally. Back. <laughs> yeah. And that's how that's how Tenshi and Wayo should have started. We should have started with the family tree. That's true. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Viewership's falling fast, Captain. I can't turn her around. <laughs> Bring out a fan favorite. It's like the hand in panic. <laughs> exactly. Um, we're also getting a new season of Umasume Derby Girls. Pretty derby. Um, okay. I I really actually enjoyed uh, Pretty Derby, the the first season of it. I, I, I can't imagine this. girls can't, as horses. Yeah, special weeks really. Good. Yeah, they have horse uh, ears and tails, and they go on racetracks and race each other. And they're so also there's, so so in the Western world, there's this thing called My Little Pony. Mm-hmm. True. It could easily be a a, mm-hmm. a, a, a version of that ponyish thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, I find it really creepy. Um, oh, it is. But that's <laughs> because it's so, like, so. So basically, this has already been ruled thirty four. Oh, very quickly. Um, yeah, it yes. wouldn't really take it that much to get no. there. <laughs> no. Um, but it is it by by sort of technical definition is a sports anime. True. And I Absolutely. actually enjoyed it because yeah. you really can if you strip out all the ridiculous horse girl thing mm-hmm. it's girl? really a track mm-hmm. anime mm-hmm. it's about getting in the shape that you need to be it's about overcoming your, your personal you know mm-hmm. limitations to race on the track and mm-hmm. win mm-hmm. and they who thought to make them all horse girls yeah anime you know mm-hmm. <laughs> that's why it's just like in the world they are kind of treated as animals sometimes yeah but no most of the time they most are. of the time okay yeah so that, that was the thing that kind of like... Mm, mm. Yeah, their parents, quote-unquote, which you don't know... What, if they're not their real parents. They're their oh. trainer. Oh. So it's their parents sends them off to do these races. No. And it's just like... No, so this, is, this is a hard no. It's, mm. You have to overcome that kind of weird part where it's like, so where's so this, your mom and dad? Mm. If your mother is your trainer. Like, moving on. Moving yep, on. Yep. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, a lot um, weird. A lot weird, but uh, <laughs> we have Bungo Stray Dogs One, um, one, one. aka Bark. Uh, so basically, Bungo Stray Dogs as Chibis, um, <laughs> Chib- Chibi Dogs, <laughs> all interacting. Um, because and so the first definitely Bungo Stray Dogs is massive in Japan. Yeah. Uh, really, really successful franchise over there. So they just keep on churning out more Bungo Stray Dogs stuff. 
Um, it's basically, as I recall, these are all literary characters. Um, th th this is that one, right, where they're all the literary characters who've now all now in a dick uh, I never kind of watched it, and yeah. so I, I zero know zero knowledge on that one. Yeah, um, but anyway, huge, successful, looks cute. Right. Um, Armor Shop for Ladies and Gentlemen Two. Yeah, I watched the first one. Okay, how was that? <laughs> it's okay. they're four minute episodes. Okay. Okay. Um. And it's sort of, uh, uh, did you ever see Bikini Warriors? <laughs> uh, no, but I saw enough, like, screenshots and trailers to uh -huh. get it. Imagine mm -hmm. the armor shop that makes the Bikini Warriors bikinis. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Welcome, welcome to Armor Shop for Ladies and Gentlemen. <laughs> gotcha. All right. First season was exactly, I've seen, I think, mm. five episodes. Like I said, they're four episodes, four minutes long. Mm. I've seen five episodes of season two, mm. and it's exactly the same kind of, like, Oh, how could this tiny bikini possibly fit me and be armor too? It's so cute. Okay, mm -hmm. there we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. At you least it knows what it's doing. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's not pretending. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, moving on to Gek Idol. Um, Idol anime set post apocalypse, basically. Um, a mystifying disaster decimates cities across the globe. Um, Seria Moreno receives an invitation from a mysterious woman to join Alice in Theater, a small stage troupe that takes it upon themselves to brighten the world through their performances using 3D hologram technology, um, which she uncovers unexpected truths about herself and the world around her. Um, reminds me a little bit of 22-7, of uh, being kind of a, a more dramatic, weird take on the idol concept. Right. Uh, lots of unexplained, unexplained things. Um, but very much an idol anime. Um, Again, Something else that hurts me. Again, I love the, the only tag is music. Like, all right. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll see where it goes. Um, its budget probably went into the into the music. Yeah. Probably not yeah. too much into the story. Probably. Yeah. yeah just uh, um, LBX girls. Um, <laughs> that, that has to be the porniest title. Yeah. <laughs> <all these. laughs> um. So, cute girl transported to alternate Japan where metal based life forms are attacking, and so girls armed with basically strike witches things um, uh, can, can fight them, um, and they have to adapt to save humanity, hope of a planet now rests in these blah 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 blah. Yeah. Um, so, cute teenage Generic. girls, yep, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. saving the world. Um, again, looks like it could be fun, but. Very much in that, in that, that mode. I'll give it an episode, but I'm, yep. I'm not expecting much. <laughs> no. Uh, wave! Let's go surfing! Yeah. Our surfing anime. You uh, know what? I want this to be Point Break. Mm. And it won't be. <laughs> no, it won't. <laughs> not by any stretch of the imagination. No, it won't. But I, I was just saying that, you know, if, if we're going to have, like, <laughs> mind skating... Um, I would just like something interesting. I don't. I don't know. I just. It just doesn't really. Do you it. should have made it like you know, surfing on a hydrogen sea on on uh, like some <laughs> distant right. far off world. It's the most extreme intergalactic surfing challenge. Yeah, but it's certainly you know. I think this is the first surfing anime I can think of. You know, we're finally getting a surfing anime. Yeah. So that's, that's we had, really a, we cool. had a scuba diving one, and you know, mm -hmm. so yeah. Was um, it Grand Grand Blue? Was it Grand Blue? I think it was the. I think that was the one. That sounds right. Um, it wasn't Grand Blue Fantasy, but I think. No, it was, but yeah, I think it was, it was Grand Blue. But it was. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> hot guys surfing. Um, skate leading stars. Um, hot boys. Skating. It, well, well, yeah, skating. Figure skating. Um, Fury on ice. Fury on ice. Let's just be honest. It's just. It's just. Yeah. Playing off that one. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see where that goes. Uh, but JC Staff, which usually, you know, put some, some time into their, their work. Should be decent. Mm -hmm. Idly Pride. Um, <sighs> Sorry. Uh -huh. Oddly titled, Idly Pride. But, but, but yes, it, it, <laughs> nah. Um, it, it, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> there were, there, what is there to say on this one? Yeah. Uh, looks cute. Um, Michael san chi no makanai san. Yes. 
I want to see this. Okay. okay. Too. All right. Oh, yes. okay. This is on my list as well. Okay. Um, take it away. No. Well, I mean, I'm just saying that it, it's the, the the whole idea of mm. um, the 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 whole concept of of just the um, becoming a Mico. Mico. Mico yeah. is really interesting in how one. And it's, I mean, it's it's a pretty generic story. You know, one really isn't talented enough to be to be that mm, but decides right. to be the support mechanism for the one that does gotcha but she has her own kind of thing going on where she cooks and and of course being a foodie that's very much appealing too and mm. i'm finding that this that this particular kind of slice of life is starting to be more appealing to me mm. since I, I didn't really see a whole lot of I really wanted mecha anime this season. I don't know yeah. why, but but you I have didn't one really with the seventies pants. So. <laughs> but you got that. But I just, but I just like the idea of this. I think it's going to be a, just a nice, solid story. I don't think it's going to be yeah. anything mm. overly dramatic. I don't think you have to think too hard. I think it's just, uh, you know, what was it? You're not in Burry. You know, you're just going to, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. just nice. Sit back and just okay. Right. Yep. And it's like it, I'm hoping that it's going to give us a, a, a little slice of 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 Maiko kind of yeah. life, yeah, yeah. And that what we'll also get to see would be the the people behind the faces that you know what I mean. So it's like mm-hmm. okay, we know what the stage show looks like. Mm-hmm. What right. you know? Are we gonna are they gonna do something good with this? Where it's like, hey, by the way, what you know about this? Here are all these people that do all this stuff mm-hmm. that they... makes that stage show happen. I think they do I I, because when I watched the trailer for this, mm. they actually show the makeup being applied mm. to the one girl Ooh, and the, cool. the eyeliner being being drawn onto her face or making her face white. How they right. do that and it's traditional cool. stuff, not blacking uh, out the, the teeth know, and everything. Either. Right? Yeah. Well, I don't know. If they I, yeah. that's not what was shown, but they, like right. on how they did the makeup. Yeah. Right. Cool. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm excited to see that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I don't think John's going to be interested in, in World Witches Take Off. Uh, <laughs> the 501st Strike Witches, the 502nd Brave Witches. Oh, yes. I watched Road to Berlin this, this past season and just enjoyed the hell out of it. So. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. More Strike Witches. Um, uh, Yerogami-chan Kansatsu Niki Trisatsume. It was no so cute. Oh, Yeah. The first season, the little girl on the left, mm-hmm. um, with it's all about Nagoya. Oh, okay. And oh, like no. every episode starts out like, "Don't get upset. We love Nagoya. Nagoya's great. We're just gonna like go around and we're gonna do stuff." And then mm-hmm. you have a kid who moves from Tokyo, of course, mm-hmm. and he's going around with you know the usual sort of like, "Oh, wow, Nagoya has food." You guys, you <laughs> and the little girl, the little blonde, mm. she is like a full-on Nagoyite. Oh, okay. So, like, mm. she gets, and her thing is kind of, she's vaguely catty, like, mm, yeah. personality. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he'll say something completely ridiculous, and she'd be like, what do you mean Nagoya's got? And then they run through, like, all the hot topics of uh, Nagoya in various mm. ways. Okay. So it's just, it's cute. The episode's really, really short. Mm. So it's great filler. And it's just, it doesn't require anything more than just that one, just letting the ridiculous slapstick sort of run over you. And that's fine. Mm-hmm. Cool. It's, cute. it's very cute. Cool. Um, Alice in Deadly School, special edit the stage begins. Um, no idea. Edit so of an much. OVA. Music is the only, I don't know. I, yeah. um, Alice in Deadly School. <laughs> yeah. They all die. I don't know. Um, Alice in Wonderland gets stabbed. Requiem for Alice. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Looks possibly shoujo I, I I don't know. Well, it, it says in there alongside the first episode of Gek Idol. Yeah. So yeah. somehow so, related to those two? Possibly. I, don't, I mean, certainly music. So I. It's yeah, the primer. Know. If you don't watch Alice in mm. Deadly School, none of Gek yeah. Idol makes any sense. Exactly. Yeah. It's all very tightly wound. <laughs> Tight, tightly integrated plot in the universe. Um, White Cross, Diva oh, Alive. Cross, yeah. um, so, uh, White Cross, White Cross is known as kind of the the psychological thriller of of uh, idol shows um, because it gets into really creepy territory. Um, so I'm curious to see. I, I'm I'm 
kind of glad to see a franchise this, I want to say oddball, but it takes this kind of a, it, it sort of, Love Live Cross with Madoka Magica is, is the best I can describe of Y-Cross. So wow. I'm, I'm glad to see that that gets, a, gets some, some, you know, uh, some, some love. Uh, it's and, perfect you know, blue meets... Uh. Um, they, they get a wish. If, if oh. they kind of... Yeah, and it's like, oh... So if they perform you know that's well, go. they get a wish? Um, if they progress through this idle thing, they get a wish. Um, and of course... You know, that never ends well in any media ever. Well, that, so, that just that just means to me there can be only one. Yeah, uh-huh. and and again, I've only seen bits and pieces. I've just read about it. I don't I don't know where it goes plot wise, but apparently mm. it is it is game psychological. <laughs> it's mm, when I tags. saw the title, the uh, Diva Alive. Mm-hmm. All all that came to my mind was Date Alive. Sure. Yep. Yeah, you know, the Date Alive mm-hmm. franchise, and I was just like, oh yeah. Okay, so this is why. Why cross yeah. with the Date Alive franchise? <laughs> like I don't understand what that is. So. Mm-hmm. Didn't really register on the radar, really. So mm-hmm. no offense. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Um, I start you. Um, Idol School, um, and it's <clears throat> cute boys in Idol School along with a girl, um, maybe. Is that a girl? Maybe. I don't know. It's, um, yeah, it's hard to tell. Hard to tell. Um, so, yeah, it looks like you know a lot of these other other ones. Could be fun. Who knows? I start you, and if you're terrible, I finished you. There we are. <laughs> um, yet another show by Rock. Yeah. I think we get the, one of these every season. <laughs> it's just another, you know, cute animal girls doing it in a rock band. Doing, doing rock band stuff. But is the music any good? It's from like season to season, or is it like season one awesome musical, season two terrible, three meh, and then it like you know what I mean? Is it yeah. one of those things? Or? I have no idea. You know, I just seen like the first episode of a bunch of them, and it's like, oh yeah, this is fun. You know. Mm. Yeah. Um, another season of True Cooking Master Boy. Yeah. Which is fascinating to me because it's this very it '90s thing. I really liked episode one of the first season. Um, it yeah. is, it is like it looks '90s. It is structured '90s. It's really interesting. Um, um, I liked it a lot for what it was. Um, you know, boy trying to become a cooking a master chef, basically in sort of a feudal China. Uh, in fact, I think it is literally feudal China, if I recall correctly. Um, yeah. Okay. And, you know, stuff happens and, you know, there's big cooking challenges and such. Not food wars kind of thing. No. No. no, I, no. no. Okay. No. Um, but, yeah. yeah. I, it's, yeah intriguing. Which, by the way, with your rice cooker, you should be cooking some of those dishes. Exactly. <laughs> um, I may well be. <laughs> season 8 of Yamishibai. Uh, Yamishibai. Mitrashai, um, mitrashai, yamishibai no jikan da yo. There we go. Um, I, I really, really loved the first season of Yamishibai. Mm-hmm. And then I, I started, like, literally the first episode of the next season of it. And I was just like, I think I'm good. Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I, think I, I think I got it there. I, think, mm-hmm. so I feel good now. Yeah. So. And so for those of you, Yamishibai are um, self contained. Uh, horror stories, basically. So each episode is its own right. horror story, and it is uh, playing back to the Kamishibai um, a, a little stage theater shows yep. of mobile of 100 years ago. Mobile, yes. Yeah, mo- little, little mobile, mobile theater stages. Huh. Um, As you have noted. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd give that a try then. Which I, I believe there's a panel out there about the history of anime saying how uh, those little mobile movable mm-hmm. panels and how you could slide them half in okay, and like, have, make somebody yeah. move across a, a landscape was the earliest like sort of animation. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. If I remember correctly, I don't know. I don't know. Somebody did. I've seen it somewhere on a, on a con that? somewhere. They're probably an idiot. Somebody, um, if somebody would like, click, and subscribe to my channel, <laughs> perhaps I'll remember. <laughs> perhaps I can upload that video. Who knows? Uh, who, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, moving on to, um, I have no idea how to pronounce this. I'm going to say Punk Chow Booth, I think. Um, I was thinking Kiao. Kiao. I don't know. Cause it, it, looks, I don't know. it looks Chinese? I don't know. Yeah, oh, it's done. Um, but it is a. Uh, uh, a VTuber character, character's project, um, animated 
in, using traditional animation. So it's not VTubing. It's not recorded off as VTubing. Um, but they are animating that thing. Great. I'm not familiar with that VTuber, so I don't know. Um, but I thought the whole thing we talked about VTubing yeah. is it's your avatar that you're doing right. things that makes your VTube character do stuff. Right. So you're now you're taking this even further step away from mm -hmm. like motion capture of what you're doing to like yep. now you're sending off anime. what you've done to somebody to animate it. Like Yeah. Okay. Well and they say based on the character project. So it could just be we're taking the like the character designs. Right. And then mm -hmm. just animating new stories with them. I don't know. Could right. be. It's just anime. It's just anime. <laughs> um I dolls what I'm hoping, what I'm really hoping, is that these are literally like dolls to life. Like, you know, they're, they're dolls that you can then, that then have come to life and are becoming idols. Because, please, God, give us some twist on the idol yeah, concept. Something. I don't know. Um, well, did knows? you ever see Frame Arms Girls? Mm -mm. It sort of reminds me of you guys describing, like, Gunpla. Mm, okay. Where you've got these little... Um, these little sort of semi, semi well, no, they're, semi, they're sentient, little mm. tiny, like, action figures. Okay. And they have, like, all these little weapon kits. Mm. So it's like a model kit kind of thing, and mm. you have a virtual space where you put the two of, two of them in, and they can battle. Okay. And it goes mm -hmm. into a like, greater virtual area. And it's like, I, that would, I would find that interesting if you mm -hmm. had something where you assembled, like, a, an eye doll and yeah. you programmed it and then you uh, it yeah. with it mm -hmm. in your own compositions and you're you're the one who programmed it I would watch so that it's, yep so it's it's about your programming skill about your music skills and that gets to like the the princess maker you know games where yeah. you're like training a you know, princess training an idol yeah yeah right. like, so that could be interesting and i'm sure mm -hmm. that's not at all what it is <laughs> <laughs> yeah um uh, moving on to Aikatsu Planet, um, a world where anyone can assume the role of an avatar and become an adorably cute idol, because, of course, who doesn't want that? Um, first year student at the private academy becomes the number one idol, uh, when the previous alter ego disappears, but her new role is secret to everyone else, blah, 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 blah. Um, tagline is, to become the me I want to be, I enter the mirror, which is intriguing. Um, it is also listed as Kids Music. Which has me intrigued because that looks like real people in the cover art. So I I think this might be like combination live action animation. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. And I, I wanna see this. I'm not saying I wanna watch the whole series. I'm just saying I wanna see what this looks like. I'm I'm curious. Mm. Oh It'll be something. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then finally, because the rest of the anime on this are, again, sort of uh, very young kids' shows, uh, Tropical Rouge, Pretty Cure, which I'm sure we're all cure. just, you know, we all just can't wait for that. Um, I did do some Googling. This is season 18 of Pretty Cure. Oh, goodness. The 18th Good continuous word. season of Pretty Cure. Wow. They've been going every week the entire time. Um, Wow. For, for those who don't know, they do a um, they also do a, a movie every year for each season because um, a new cast every season, um, and they also do compilation movies where multiple cures appear. And this series has the Guinness World Record for the most number of magical warriors in a movie at fifty five. <laughs> they all have speaking roles all in this movie. Oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah, it's, like the, it's like the Hollywood Bowl. Somebody comes up and says, Hi, everybody. And you're just hearing unison 55 voices. Hi! Hi! <laughs> now we're thinking of Smoker World Record. Thank you. <laughs> and scene. And <laughs> scene. <laughs> oh, geez. Um, so, yeah, Pretty Cure is doing fine. Pretty Cure is chugging along. No one has to worry about Pretty Cure. It's not a Mugen train, but holy cow, it's a local mm, express. Exactly. Jeez. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. We're going to take another quick break. We'll be back with the news in just a minute. Wait a minute. My, my, I wanted to get to the one that was my most, I don't know what the hell is going on with this. I, w w what is the name of it? Because we're not at the end of the list. Look, no, you just put your cursor right by it. Pui Pui Bowl Car. 
Pui Pui Mole Car? Where it's a mole that is a it's a guinea pig that becomes a car. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, again, this is a kid's it's show, for, so I... It's not... for kids, but I was just looking at it, I'm yeah. like, why? Why did, why Good did question. a pig become a car? Good question. <laughs> So that um, was my, I don't know what's going to go on with that. Fair enough. It's Pui Pui Molkar. We, we know they have curvy butts. We know that much. Um, ham taro with wheels. Ham taro with wheels, <laughs> pretty much. Um, it's a mole animation. I, boy. I, yeah, I mean, that was, that was what I was looking at it when we are looking through this list. There must like, be a... I don't get it. Is there like a... There must be like a toy tie-in. There's got to be. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you can't... Yeah. You can't have anything like that that you don't have a toy tied into it. Because, I mean, it's just it's like Hot Wheels had a slow year, so they slapped in, like, like guinea pig and, like, hamster tops on the, the Hot Wheels cars and called it a, <laughs> called it a toy line. I guess. It's Poi Poi Mole Car. Kids hey. are they love They love cute things. There we go. They'll do it. All right. We're back in a few minutes, guys, with the news.